are rolling with Jacob Israel. Thank you for coming back again. Oh my goodness! I'm. So, are you kidding me? I'm so excited. I think this is such an important, <laughs> such an important topic too, because we're talking about the community. You know. Yeah, for and sure. I, I agree. I, I I've decided. I was watching some of your videos last night to prep for this, and I love just swimming around in the person's stuff before I have an interview. So it's just all right there on my head. But That's I decided... a very goofy pool. That's a goofy <laughs> pool to be because my stuff is all over the place. It's entertaining yes. and encouraging, at least. It, well, and, and that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, but I decided that I, I think of you as the spiritual speculator. Like, you know, those wildcatters in, in Texas, like the oil guys. Yeah. yeah. And like, you're, you're hitting oil field after oil field. Like I'm you're, kidding. you're hitting yeah, them. You're hitting them. To God. And, and I'm like, you know, he, he, I know he calls himself a meathead and he says, you know, I'm not a prophet. <laughs> I'm a writer. Um, but you really are good at, um, seeing patterns mm. and and seeing where they're going to go yeah um, and very accurately it's yeah. it's awesome it's I was watching a video that you did about a year ago uh -huh. and you had Russell Brand on the right very front of it and, yeah it's almost uh, like pre almost predicted it. it's crazy and it's almost yeah. exactly a year yeah to the yeah. the time that it happened um one year 11 days there's been this thing I don't know <laughs> you know 11 11 is kind of a big thing on my channel uh-huh but for whatever reason, the the numbers one one one, like Prince Charles the Third, have been seeing that everywhere. This sounds a little weird, but it was just interesting because it was like one year, and I, I ten months and like um, eleven days or something in between. And it's just strange that you see these numbers pop up again and again, which is interesting because you start to think, well, maybe maybe there's something to this simulation theory. Maybe there's something to, you know, things being you know our reality being coded. Who knows? But it sure is weird. It is weird and and it's like lately it's been happening more and more it's like oh and faster and faster it is yeah. like birth pangs for sure it's, it's very it's, interesting it's wild but your prophecy um that you don't claim is is pretty darn amazing and i understand mm -hmm. that a prophet is 100 percent accurate but i also know that there's people that that you can look back and you, you can really respect what they've brought. And so one of the first questions I want to ask you, because I, I feel like this is really important in the entire umbrella of a truther. Mm -hmm. What do you want to bring people in your channel? Like what is your, oh, right. what yeah. is your objective? What is your goal? Um, my, my goal is, is pretty simple because I, I, um, because of my past, I, you know, I didn't have the easiest upbringing. My mother was very young when she had me. I didn't have a father. We lived in the projects. I, you know, I, I, it's, it seemed like my life was, was very difficult. And then I was very sick um, from about 15 on, um, in and out of the hospital, you know, picked on, abuse, all this stuff, right? But all along the way, I always had this idea that there was more, you know? So, <laughs> like, my faith always carried me through. I used to be, go to church by myself. Because my mother wasn't, you know, a religious person. I used to go to the church. I used to go to the Catholic church down the street. I'd just walk down, you know, and, and but I would never listen. I would always like, I'd have, you know, these daydreams of like, one day I'm going to serve you. And one day, you know, like, because I was a young, young child. And it was like, I wanted to be kind of like a superhero for God. Mm -hmm. And because God was always there for me. So, so all along my life, I've always tried to lift people up because I just kind of believe that if I lived a good life, if I treated people better, um, you know, then, I mean, even people that are horrible to you, I just believe that that was the right thing to do. And so, ironically, I, I ended up doing some pretty interesting things. I always had this idea, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then it would happen. I'd tell people, I said, oh, I'm going to be the head writer for World Wrestling. And people would say, you're really a weirdo. You're selling <laughs> you know, orthopedic furniture at a store. You're you know, a spiritual spec speculator. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, and then that faith would lead me. And then I, I'd ended up at the uh, WWE and I was very, it was very strange to be there. And then it was like, oh, I'm going to work for Christian TV. I didn't know why. I just kind of had that desire. And then God brings me there. And then I'm the, uh, the head writer and, you know, for, uh, and I didn't fit anywhere and I wasn't happy anywhere. <laughs> you know, it was like, I felt like God brought me from one place to another place to another place to, to kind of set refining. me up so that yeah refining me and, and showing me that like you know wwe there's elements of it that's just incredibly corrupt but same in christian tv you know so it's like no matter where god brought me he, what he showed me was there aren't a lot of sincere people maybe they think they are 
Um, maybe they desire to be, maybe I'm just misjudging them, but it doesn't, you know, you look at their fruit. That's how a tree is known by its fruits Amen. and the stuff that I do, the stuff that I, you got to look at my life's work. You know how I've been. I'm not, I'm not the perfect man, but you can look at the tree and say, Hey, you know, if this tree is doing some pretty horrible things in their thirties, it's a good call by 50. You know, you really have to have your life completely Amen. turned around. It's like, you know, so once the tree is producing good fruit, hopefully. So I started my YouTube channel. Ironically, Jacob Israel from the scriptures, he worked for Laban, who sure. was a sheep shearer. He was like, um, he'd make money off the flock. He didn't feed the flock. So I went to work for, ironically, um, this television network, this Christian television network, where they made money off of the flock. You know, they were the big, the biggest, largest Christian network in the world. But I was a shepherd. I was a writer. And while I was there, I kind of put, like Jacob did with Laban, he kind of put his rods in the waters for the sheep, you know, because he, and he made a deal with, um, because I wasn't happy there. You know, but I said, I said, you know what? Give me all the people that you don't want. Like literally, I wanted to reach out to the people that they'd their, turn their backs on and, sure. and they would condemn and say, oh, you're not worthy. And, you know, I, I wanted the speckled sheep. So I started a website, um, jacobisrael.com. And I started sharing just, you know, I'd write essay after essay. After, I have like thousands of pages that I've like kind of dug into the scriptures because when I was around 30 or so, well, when the twins hit, the twin, um, where the twins were hit by the, uh, whatever <laughs> that was really kind of my big awakening and then it was like one thing after another so yeah, really my desire my desire always was to lead people not to me because i know i don't have it all figured out like even right. like i said to you when you sent me over the title i said wow and i said that's going to trigger some people because my initial gut reaction is who am i to say who you shouldn't be listening to like i don't want that to be and that's not our motivation. And for clarity, we aren't doing that. Yeah, we're, no, absolutely We've got another not. objective. Yes. But it's but it's interesting because it gets you to, you know, gets you to question really who can you trust. So I just I wanted to lead everybody to God. I said you, and that was the thing. You know, Jacob had a well, and Jesus said this when the woman was there, the Samaritan woman, who he wasn't supposed to talk to, it was like, you know, why don't you give me some water? And the woman's says, oh, no, it's too deep, and it's this, that, and the other thing, and made a lot of excuses. But if you keep going to this well, and that was Jacob's well, you'll thirst again. You know, so I say on the channel, but if you leave with Christ, because Christ sits at this well, I say it on my channel. I say, if you come here, you want to drink, you want to be inspired, you want to look at the weird, crazy, amazing news, and then have me kind of speculate how it's going to turn into something that's going to affect your life in a, hopefully a positive manner, well, then come to the well, come get a sip. But if you leave here without Christ, without going to God, without asking for the truth, no matter what the cost, you know, it was like, that was, that was my, uh, my motivation was I wanted people to ask for more. I wanted people to go to God because I knew that if I could just get them to do that, I've done a good job. 100%. I've done a good job, you know? 100%. So, and, but I also understand that I must present myself in a better way. You know, like I can't be, um, I can't be, I'm a very funny guy and I have a, a sense of humor and there's things that people post that I know I could make, I could make go viral and I could make, because I, I know how to write and I know how to get people hooked, but sure. I, I feel like I need to be an example. It's incongruent. It's, mm -hmm. it's sad that I have to feel like I need to be the example because, but, but this is kind of who I am. So I just, I try to be myself and I try to understand that not everybody is where I am. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to, you know, like off what I used to do back in the day is if someone would attack me, I would immediately, you know, um, respond to that and then correct what they got wrong. Mm -hmm. And almost like, I didn't want to publicly call them out, but almost like, you know, hey, listen. But then when I got older, I realized you can't help people that way. Mm -hmm. So now I, you know, people that, and it's ironic because they're always like, I watched you for years. You helped me open my eyes to the Lord. And now I go to this church and, you know, it's like, so you're saying that I helped you, but now you're, you're calling me a, a Freemason. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like people say weird things. It's just, very strange to me. So now I reach out to them in, in private and I try to, um, I feel like they, there's no shepherds. You know, I feel like the harvest is here and the laborers are few. 
I feel very alone out here. That's the yeah, truth. Yeah, um, I understand that 100%. I also think, though, that like my daughter had made a comment about how the information age is over when, when um, COVID started. And she said there's so much out there that's not true that we're no longer getting information that's accurate. And she was correct. But what I feel like happened in that was it is that when somebody finally hits that rock bottom, they have to become friends with truth. Mm. So my next question for you is, are you or do you consider yourself a truther? Um, I don't, you know, I don't understand what, what, you know, that term has come to mean. Like when you hear that, there's a very negative um, connotation to it, but there's also a lot of pride attached to it. I'm somebody who wants the truth no matter what the cost, but you know, labels, that's the thing is I don't quite I fit. knew, I knew you would answer that way. And I agree yeah. with you. It is my belief that anyone that, that holds on to that label might have some pride issues. Right. And there's, I think there's a humility that comes with saying, I am human. I am a liar. There is not a human on mm. this earth that isn't yeah. a liar. So yeah. what we're dealing with, instead of looking at people like, here's a channel of a truther, right. or here's this, this is a, this is a reliable source for us to go back to remembering that every human is a spectrum. Right. And so I wrote down the five things or the five reasons people lie and one, two, three, four, I'm sorry. Yeah. Five. Okay. So the first one, is to avoid punishment and see that's what the back of your your shirt is the back of your oh, shirt yeah. is yeah no matter and that's what the, the biggest cost. reason i think people do lie is i think Scary there's prayer. a lot of cowards there's a lot of cowards they don't want to stand in what's going to come at them if they tell the truth right. now i understand that you don't throw pearls before swine and that's another conversation so then the next reason is to gain advantage right so avoid punishment gain advantage the third one is to protect self or others which right. is a huge female trait this is a woman and guys will face that um women will tell their friend oh you know they'll tell them a lie just to make them feel better mm. um to fit into society right we see this happening a lot with a lot of different agendas i'm not going to say them out loud right. um and then the final one is to maintain privacy and mm. so so especially for maintaining privacy i completely get that but let's say that we were gonna we were gonna look at some of the the, the truthers if you're giving people advice on how to discern truth mm. how would you apply those five and do you agree with them well i i, I think it oh yes i do i do i think that was very well thought out i think it all boils down to fear you know no matter how you look at it um, and see, you know, it's, it's hard to be in a world, we came into this world, you know, and it's run by the father of all lies, right? This is the, the father of all lies, the principalities of the air, and there's no truth in that devil. So there's no truth in the father of this world. If there's no truth in it, and you know even in scripture you have this picture of the uh, the dragon that the flood that comes out of the dragon's mouth to to you know destroy that child it's a picture of um you know the the Christ that's in us you know um kind of you know killing off your faith killing off your faith and how do you and and if Christ is the uh, the power and wisdom of God and that your word o lord is truth so if you have the truth within you and then you have a dragon that's only the father of all lies, meaning whatever it creates is a lie. The lie is trying to extinguish the truth that's in you. Hence, fake news, right? Fake news. That, the, and, and, and knowing that right now the time is so short, because I really feel like we're entering into, uh, this is a whole other thing it's like the it's coming to an end and it's coming to a new beginning and i'm really super excited about it but while i'm excited about it the world is really getting bad and the enemy will say of truth lies working overtime 
So what I did about a year ago was um, I've been actively in my faith. I try to um, I try to put my faith out there because if we have faith, size of uh, you know a mustard seed, you could say to the sycamore tree, be cast into the sea. You could say to this mountain, be cast into the sea. So what I started to do was I started to like speak it out my faith, and awesome. I even created a hashtag if they be corrupt. <clears throat> and so part of the reason why I did the video about um, Russell Brand, and I also did the same thing by the way with um, Mr. Tate where mm -hmm. I did a video and I told everybody on air, I think it's time that the Lord show the world who these people are. Mm -hmm. And it was like, the next day was when the news broke about him, you know, and, and here we are. And people mm -hmm. are still defending a person oh, 100%. as mantras because the world, and can you blame them? Because they've had nothing but lies. So they need a better example. But where is the example? I think it's That's... also seek and you shall find. Um, people aren't knocking for truth; they're knocking for the dopamine hit. Right. And, and so, when when you don't have congruence within you, you can't see truth. Right. And that's part of the problem. Is um, once you have enough darkness in you, the scales are there. And yeah. so, in order to get the scales to drop, you got to increase the amount of truth in your life. Yeah. And I you know, think Paul, this, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. You, you know, it's funny. You said scales over your eyes. That was Paul's big problem, right? S Saul's problem before he became Paul, he was blinded and it was like scales were over his eyes. And then he was set straight because the prophet came to him and brought him to the street called straight. I'm going to set you straight because you're, you're persecuting, you're killing Christians. That's basically what you do. If you're um, a religious man who's serving the God of this world, who's a liar, you think that you're the Pharisee of all Pharisees, but you realize it's all dung when your eyes are open to Christ. And you know what the scales are in scripture? Pride. That's It's written, I think it's in the book of um, Ezekiel and the book of Ecclesiastes, I think. The scales of the Leviathan are his pride. So the pride has to fall away before you can see again. So it's interesting. You say the darkness, the ignorance, that was his problem. He was ignorant. He didn't know any better. Sure. And it was his pride. So that was like, so that's great. I mean, cool awesome, that you said awesome. that. Yeah. And I was thinking too, one of the things that I think would be really important is for us to go through an example. And so I wrote down cause Russell Brand's, um, his, so this happened video was only yeah. like, I don't know, two, three minutes long. It wasn't very long. So I wrote down mm -hmm. some of the things I, I want to get comments from you and then I'll comment on, 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 but I want, I want people to kind of keep this formula in mind. You have content. This is a, a math equation. And if you subtract from that content, the create bringing that isn't truth, then you have truth. And right. so what we have to do is we have to be good at discerning which things are incongruent, like right. you were saying, the fruit, right? Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the very first sentence that, that he said when he was saying, so this happens. Ugh. The very first sentence he said is this channel exists to critique, attack, and undermine the news and all its corruption. Yeah. When you hear that, <laughs> When you hear that, oh, you're going see, there, is, Carmen. You're going there. But I just want I want you to I want you to say when you hear that, right. do you hear any lies? Yes, I do. I'm if I'm being honest, you know what I hear right off the bat is um I hear him exonerating himself of his past. And even like the flippant, so this happened. I mean, my goodness gracious. I, you know, I'd be devastated. I'm sure he's devastated. Um, but I mean, it, you know, it's not good. Look, it's not looking good for him. And I think that humility is the best. I mean, it's clear he's messed up. But how did he get so big? How did he get so influential? You know, it's like they, they if I said this in my show, because I don't want to, because he could be a good man. Since then, spectrum. a lot more there's stuff. There's a spectrum is, on everyone. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a there's a lot more stuff coming out about him, and um, and it's all very, you know, it's all very salacious. 
but you, you, you want you want him to be a good, you know, a, like I was rooting for him in the beginning mm -hmm. because he was saying things that I had to find clever ways around. Mm -hmm. But then I started to see him. I started to really like I started to really look at the fruit. Like, what is he showing us? And that's when I started to question him. And I started to question, you know, the idea that, you know, they're giving us our heroes and our heroes are really psychotic and narcissistic. <laughs> they're and, fascinating and, and a big fat dopamine hit. Yeah. And, and they're exactly, they're, they're like, they're like, you can't look away. Um, he's, I mean, listen, I don't know. No, I love you're so is. You're so nice. Okay. So you answered the question. Yeah. And I you, think he's you lying. Even, you even I think he's lying. I think he's question. probably a plant is what I think. I mean, that's what I think. Right. I hate this, to say these that. These are all opinions. These are opinions. It's okay. just an opinion. I so, but, that but I, I want it. people to hear this because this is really important. When I first started this, I asked you, why does your channel exist? And your answer in a nutshell was to turn people to God, to read, right, to, to lift them up. You said lift. So oh, do you see yeah. what I'm saying with his yes. channel? So his channel exists. To attack, tear down, yeah. To attack, yeah. critique, and here's the thing. I know, is it's, you're brilliant. It's, <laughs> that was brilliant. I'm, I'm not now brilliant. I see where you're going. But, but what I'm trying second. to show people is it's easy. And then you trumped me because you said, oh, well, just look at the title. So this yeah. happened. How yeah. flippant like that is. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. I mean, right. this like is Like these this people is and their gold. stories mean nothing. This is yeah. gold. People, listen to this. Hear it. Because if you can... Even just look at that. Okay, so can can we go to one more? Sure. Okay, the next I'm one. I'm enjoying this. Okay, so the next one is I received extremely disturbing letters and emails listing extremely egregious and aggressive attacks that I absolutely refute. Mm. Any comment on that one? I mean, you 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 hear this and you think to yourself. You know, if you're saying you absolutely refute something, you're saying without a shadow of a doubt, it did not happen. Perfect. Keep that in mind. Keep yeah. that in mind. And then I want you to go back to, or go to the, we're going to go to the end, um, where he says, we are obviously going to look into this because of its serious nature. Mm. Would you say that? If we're going to look into it, do you see what I'm saying? If, if I absolutely refuse, there's nothing to look into. It didn't happen. And that's what I would tell my son. If yeah. my son came to me and told me that I said, I would say, ignore him. Yeah. Why would you even address him? Yeah. And so, so I, I think that, the, and this is why I wanted to give this example. And mm. I love that you trumped me on just the, the title oh, because I'm telling you, it's that obvious. Yeah. It's that quick. Yeah. And he, and I'm not saying that he doesn't say brilliant things. And I'm not saying he doesn't say them brilliantly. He right. he has a fantastic Yeah, he's, um, a, he's a great performer. He has charisma. He mm -hmm. has charisma. He's a guru. He's a guru. Um well, I mean, we could go he into says. But he says. I mean <laughs> He says he's a prophet too. He says he's a prophet too. Yeah. Well, he he might <laughs> I mean, he says these things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not making it up. But people. here's it. And now those are things too. Okay. Yeah. So pull what you can from somebody, you know, somebody will come to me and go, what do you think of Tucker Carlson? What do you think of this person? What do you think mm. of that person? And I'll just sit back and wait and then I'll send them. This is what he said. What do you think of that? Right. Yeah. And, and, and here's the other thing is I don't it, tell everyone how often we get Intel. I have a tiny little channel. I have yeah. people. I have people giving me information. I know that I I cannot. Your bring channel forward. is not tiny. It's well, not. Well, I'm tiny. just saying compared yeah. to you know Russell Brand or or Tucker right. or you. Um, well, you but see, the, but here's the thing: what kind? What what are the quality people? Think about the quality people, right? So so you're pro you're probably getting people that are more driven toward. So you, it's it's all. They have to give the uh, the uh, the multitude their their dog whistle like as a friend of mine said he says the whole thing's a dog whistle to direct us and steer us and i thought that that was pretty brilliant yeah because this whole thing is becoming that you know and we're justifying terrible behavior yeah he was 30 something he was in a relationship with a, a girl who was 16. that's just weird to me
<laughs> just weird to me. It's just yeah, weird. Yeah, but he also, I mean, I was reading um, Wikipedia, who knows how real that is, but I was just looking at some of the stuff and he had a horrific childhood yeah. um, and, and was abused and, and talked about all these crazy things in his book. And of course, I've just recently heard that he had some like, people were saying that he abused pets in his book, even though he was younger. And that's an indicator of, a, you know, some really bad stuff. Absolutely. Um, mm the way i always look at it is it doesn't matter who you are there are pieces of you that are lies i have lied to maintain privacy oh, absolutely yeah. sure. i have lied to not hurt someone's feelings only because i know they can't carry it yeah so don't yeah. throw oh, it was so good <laughs> it was so it was such a great it was such a great one <laughs> well, I I, i'm actually really good at, at um at sharing truths with a lot of grace and mercy in private right. yeah. um and and so don't ask me if you don't want the answers is, is what i tell people <laughs> you don't want the truth right? that's actually how i got my job in, in production was i was telling people what i really thought of their scripts oh <laughs> so, good so yeah. i got a reputation for like she will tear it apart and yeah. so that just is one of those things that happened so so at what point do you go okay there's there's kind of a flippant attitude or here's a comment that tells you that what he is existing for is to critique an attack or you know whatever that's counter to what you want in your life at what point do you put enough dots together that you you know that you have what you have does that make sense right. how do you discern that no it's there, there's something to be said for really trusting your intuition you know like if you have a bad like I can't tell you how many times I've had a bad feeling about something mm -hmm. and I didn't listen to that feeling you know um and I get that feeling <laughs> a lot when I watch when I when I, when I'll watch a video or when I'll see like there are certain people that say things that I know is so wrong and so like psychically damaging to so many people, you know, like the, uh, there's a big thing in the Republican party, which is we're done turning the other cheek, you know, hmm. that's we're done turning the other, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm done. And, and you know, how you could take and twist, you know, the love of God into being something that's brutal and forceful and, you know, and it, it's that it goes back to that whole argument. Well, there was a time when Jesus said, bring a sword. He didn't say sword. He said, you know, now sell them and get yourself a couple of knives. They only had two. They had more than 12 people there. There was only two knives between them. And it was knife for cutting meat. And it was a utility knife because they were going to go on the road because they were going to be stalked and hunted. So it was like, right now, you better go get yourself like a Swiss army knife because you're going to be in the woods. <laughs> and it wasn't like, you know, go get yourself an M16 right now. And, you know, wasn't, that's not what, but they take it, a God of love who says, turn your other cheek to your enemy, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they'll twist it into something. And so, so when I see it, I feel it inside. So I almost don't need to know really where they're coming from to know where they're coming from when it seems like it's leading you to a place of hate. You know, so Beautiful. once again, you know, is this something that's, you know, encouraging people to love and to forgive, or is it something that's, you know, driving people further and further away? Right. And that's why no, I, I think got... it's important to look at why he created his channel and, right. and, and, let's, right. let's and the look timing at it. of it and the timing of it, because, you know, you look at, he came on the scene right when the virus of the crown hit, you know, and it was like, that was it. And Things that, you know, and then people got more and more emboldened by him and they lost all their channels, you know, they lost all their channels and they lost all their, he's like, his monetization, this guy's a multi, multi-millionaire. Right. He's, you know, he's, he's doing okay. So let me okay. ask you a question then. Do you believe that there is a pyramid and there's people at the top of the pyramid running things and, and that. There's, do you believe that that person at the top of the pyramid is smart enough to have a second layer? Well, I wouldn't doubt it. I or wouldn't a third doubt there's layer? probably third, fourth. Yeah, I, I would. You know, it's it's little things like, you know, I um, 
with the whole Mr. Jones thing. You know him, right? The guy who wears he wears a NASA shirt all the time. And um AJ. He's another one that like, you know, you want to root and you want to cheer for these people, but then you listen to him and and it's easy to tell that, you know, these things are gonna happen. Like when when Kanye came to visit yeah with him and he had the nasa hat on yeah. i said something crazy is gonna happen i told everybody i yeah. said he's going in there and that's when that whole thing with you know right, right now you got canada celebrating him <laughs> right you know it's a very weird day that we're in there's <laughs> yeah. there's a there's there is there must be a massive psychological operation well you you know i'm out. doing i'm doing a an entire series with cheryl back on the monarch programming and we've already done four and it's based on the green bomb speech she estimates that 30 million people have been programmed oh god i wouldn't doubt it i mean well i mean think about how many people will turn on their neighbor their neighbor you know because they they weren't they wouldn't wear their own family or, their own their own family, family. my mother I wouldn't visit me you know, um, she wouldn't visit me, but that was right. an excuse because I know her. She just didn't want to visit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but she, she like she said that you the irresponsible thing and this and that and the other thing. I didn't had a feeling. You know what I mean? And, and it was like it was, with this one, I trusted it. Then I started to look at the fruit. I said, let me give it a sec and let me take a look and see how they're handling it. And then when they started doing all that crazy stuff, it's obvious this is not for our well-being. In my head, I said. I said, obviously, it's probably for greed, probably for profit. Maybe they think the best. Maybe they're hoping for the best. But there's way too many coincidences. Well, and you look at Russell Brand. He he increased his. He's absolutely increased his subscription. Multi millions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's it's kind of interesting. I do best like. Friend. I do. <laughs> I do like how you um, took the five, and you you turned them into one. Because really, you were correct. If you want to avoid punishment, you're afraid. If you right. want to gain advantage, you're afraid that you can't trust that right. you will gain advantage without lying. Mm -hmm. If you want to protect others, you're afraid if you don't have faith in them, you're afraid right. of them. If you want to fit into society, you're afraid that you're not enough right. in the eyes of God. And if you want to maintain privacy, you're afraid that that someone can get you when you're actually protected. Oh yeah. Why what a way to sleep. Listen, you know, I gotta That's tell you this. Like boom, mind blowing. And 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 if people could apply that to their life and understand it so that when that urge comes to lie, why am I lying? Yeah. Why don't I step out in faith and be more honest, be more sincere? I started, I did that in my relationship with my wife in the beginning that I had a lot of insecurity. <laughs> I love your I've honesty. Had, I, I've had so many people in my life you know, um, abandon me, disown me, this, you know, all of these things that I know my heart, I know what kind of a man I am. So of course, you know, after my first wife took off and, and took everything and I just kept the kids, I just, you know, and you know, luckily all that's been forgiven. She's in California. I got to raise my children. Um, but I've been abandoned so much that when I met Danielle, well, you know, this is my God's given me this amazing, this, this treasure of a woman. And I was so scared. Oh, you don't love me. How many years did I say, you don't love me? You don't love me. <laughs> God bless her. You know, and, right. God bless her. I, 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 I always said to her, I said, thank you for being patient with me. Yeah. Sometimes I get lies in my head because they've been formed. The lies of the, and it's fear, fear. If we could get over our fear because what's in, what's in fear? Torment. There's right. torment and fear and right. God has not given us the spirit of fear. So when we get into that mindset, yes. it's a lie. If it's a lie, it's not God. It we're can't harm you. We're on the wrong side of the, the, the team. We're on the wrong right. side of the field. We're, we're, you we're can let yourself, you can let yourself in and out of those gates of hell. You know, you got power over the gates. You can let yourself into the hell of fear or you can let yourself out. Yeah. You know, that's the power that Christ gave us. To right. trample on scorpions, right? To smash those snake heads. Lies, right. liars, and lies. Get rid of them. The truth sets you free. Yes. You know? And like, okay, so let's say, let's say you find someone and um let's use Tucker Carlson for an example because he is so You loved. know, I I had um I hung out with him. Oh, you did? Years ago at my this is so strange, at my um 20th high school. Uh, reunion 
where I went back to the high school where everybody beat me up and everything else. I was shaken. I used to get so nervous. <laughs> um, he was, I guess, at that place and he was maybe starting over in New York or something. Oh. But we ended up hanging out all night and talking for hours. Wow. Fun guy. Interesting. Guy. He had the bow tie on. Um, but I, I always find it strange. I'm like, you know, like the Lord has put me in front of a lot of interesting people, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, I always, I'm always curious as to how God saw fit. And now it's like, I see Tucker and I understand the power he wields. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, he's, he's a sword, right? <laughs> you know? Right. But that gets back to, if I get the Intel I get with my small sphere, and you get the intel that you get and you're a bigger one and imagine the intel that they have oh, and that's goodness. the part right. that i do get a little frustrated with um to have access mm -hmm. to truths that other people don't but to still hold some sort of party line basically says what, what it says it say? that it says um i said he was going to be the face of twitter Mm -hmm. Okay. Before he was fired, I said, he's going to be the face of Twitter. Mm -hmm. Then when he was fired and let go him and Don Lemon, I said, he's going to be the face of Twitter. Put it out. Just knew it. You know why? Because there's going to be this whole thing about legacy media, because everything's going online. Yes. So they have to find a way to cleverly bring it in. And here, here it is. It's a Trojan horse. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh, you're getting a free speech guy. He's got a free. And what does he do? I'm going to have an hour long interview with Mr. Tate. And that's brother. what I'm going to do with my great big platform. Yeah. Hear what Jacob is saying. Somebody that has that kind of access, that kind of platform right. and the, the, the personality that you credit him with, mm -hmm. he does not have because he, if right. he did, that's not who he would highlight. Right. Would you, would you have him on? People, oh God, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, you know, if, if that's not true, I shouldn't say that. Okay. Cause I, I was going to say I on, would, but I, I would, would say, why did you it. have people tattoo their, your name? You know why I've seen enough videos of this guy. You got to remember I got attacked. I lost a thousand subs on the video I did about Tate when he was in his heyday. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody Men was love loving him. this guy Men love and him. they still love him. Candace Owens just had him on. This is nuts that they're holding water for somebody that's yeah. Terrible. But, but Candace is another one. Like I didn't know her history, and Tree of Logic came and visited me, and she shared that she used to be a liberal, and she used to literally have a website that doxed people, no matter how many children, no matter where they live. Doesn't seem like she comes from a good place. Yeah, and so yeah, and so uh, you know, and this is this is what do I still watch Candace? Yeah, if she no, has no. someone on every once in a while i do yeah. um and and same with tucker i still i still want like he had ken paxton on from texas i watched mm -hmm. it right. I, i'm going to pull um i'm going to pull the truth out of whatever's there yeah and that's what i think we have to begin doing is let the holy spirit lead us to truth let truth come to us it right. actually will come to you does it not you come to you yeah yeah and so show people if you don't mind sharing some ways that truth has come to you other than uh spiritually like the holy spirit just speaking to you but how has truth come to you um in ways that have kind of blown your mind well if you I, have you know, an example oh, gosh i i never i never had a voice in my head i'd get um you know i get ideas you know, I'll, um, and I'm telling you, I I'll pray. Like I go to the gym. I get a lot of my inspiration at the gym. And the reason I go to the gym so much, people don't know this. I have something called Crohn's disease and something called ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is a really bad arthritis. You're in pain all the time. And, um, you turn out to be all like hunchbacked and all scary looking. When I was a child, that was my greatest fear was that one day I would look so here the Lord gives me a disease. Right. So I, I did some research and instead of doing all the biologics and all the radiation and all the other did when I had Crohn's and I was in and out of the hospital, I did the right thing. I did natural means, better diet. And I exercise nonstop. That's like the key is moving. There's a, uh, there's an expression in the AS community. It's if you snooze, if you snooze, you fuse. But right? everyone, I believe everyone's like that. You guys just have a, a, a bigger 
um, Every, if sure, you don't. everything atrophies, yeah. everything atrophies. So, um, so I'll go and I'll pray and I'll say, oh, you know, teach me what, what I got to do now. What's the next show? I got nothing, Lord. I do this while I'm doing cardio. And, and like, it's almost always I'll get like, just a, I won't be paying attention and I'll be doing a set and then I'll just get a random thought. It'll just pop up like, like with Russell Brand. I forgot I did a video on that anniversary. Right. It was just like a thought, you know, you know, there's the second time that Russell's been brought up. You should address this. I'm like, I don't really want to address it. You know, and it was like, well, maybe you did a show. I go back, I do the show. And then I add the dates up and I'm going, I got to do the show. So, <laughs> it, but God shows up in everything that I do and everything that everybody does. You just have of to, course. you know, you have to look for it. You know, you have to look for it. And, and that's um, where yeah. I think that the truth for you is completely aligned with your speculator uh, role. I'm a seeker. Yeah. yeah and so seeker. so if you're going to be the person writing the story, because you are, you're always writing it in your own mind. Right. Um, what two ways do you see it? Because you know how there's a, from this spectrum to this spectrum, what are the right. ways that you could see it going? Oh, you mean like the future going forward? Yeah, I, I've been telling if everybody, you don't mind. I've been telling everybody for a long time before Trump lost the election. I had a weird dream. It's like become very famous on my channel where I had a dream where I was there was a coffin and I was carrying Trump in a coffin and then he was Ooh. dancing on my side. It was very weird. And I uh, I titled the video um, <laughs> Fatal Head Wound Revealed, something like that. Will they fake it? I put actually on the thumbnail. And then I started telling everybody not to buy into it because I noticed online that they were showing massive crowds for Trump. Mm -hmm. And then they were like making fun of Biden. You'd see like people in circles. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, I think he's going to lose. I started telling everybody because they're showing everybody that he's going to win with a landslide. Mm -hmm. What if it's too close? So what I did was I took the Twitter that day, um, the day of the election. And I put this, I put two scenarios. I said, this is what, kind of, I hope happens, mm -hmm. but this is, this would be so much worse. And I hope doesn't happen. Right. Which is what it happened. Looks like this. He <laughs> cries. Fat. Right. Then I started telling everybody he's laughing and dancing. So it could be mean one of one, two things. I told everybody he's going to be back. You know, he's going to be bigger than ever. I said, don't worry about him. When, when he was cut off the platforms, I said, he'll just buy a platform. I said, everybody thinks that this is such a, like Tucker was fired. Oh, I'm sorry. Now he's bigger than ever. Right. Th these are not people that are really, they don't seem to be being beaten down by the system. No. They seem to be playing some sort of, you know, pantomime mm -hmm. where they're trying to get everybody to buy into the story and then they're being elevated even more. So I believe that we're going to enter into a very, very big technological dictatorship and it's going to happen and there's nothing we can do about it. And, you know, if people don't, um, and, and once again, God is in control, right? Just as God brought Nebuchadnezzar against Egypt. Mm -hmm. Here's the story of Nebuchadnezzar and Trump, by the way, right? And Cyrus, because Cyrus comes in after Nebuchadnezzar, turns into a beast, a beast of the field after he loses everything. Mm -hmm. I told everybody, see, I told them, I said, hey, you're going to lose everything. I said, you're telling everybody how great you are. Cut it out. I, I did a whole thing about Daniel and I, I, I taught on the chapter where I said it would be like me. Like I kind of liked the character of Trump. I was in his presence <laughs> twice, right? You know, twice. I produced him twice. He was good friends with Vince McMahon, my old boss. So he lost everything. And now we have all this, all this stuff. You know, it's like, and, and it's like one thing after the, 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 the mug shot was blue steel from Zoolander. Mm -hmm. And he was in the movie Zoolander 17 mm -hmm. seconds from the movie I began. Yeah. I mean, it's just the whole thing is like, this is some great <laughs> big movie. And we're, so where's it going? Soap opera. It's going mm -hmm. there. It's going to, but it's also going to go to a place where people that are corrupt are going to be, they're going to be held to account. You know, this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be a tough time for a lot of people, but those that are trusting God, it's going to imagine when Israel was cast out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Imagine right now me being told, I got to get the hell out of New York. Right. Right. I get, and I have my house here. I got my stuff. It's like, what am I going to do? That would be devastating. Right. That's where we are. Yeah. And we're, that's where we are. That's it. We had the, uh, we had the flood 
you know that old saying travel light we, we all need to figure out how to do it <laughs> We do. I don't yeah, need my do. new, my two moving vans every time I move, right? <laughs> my, so, wife, my wife and I would need it as well. <laughs> yeah. And so, okay, this, uh, this gentleman said this, and I would like to respond to it, and I want to hear what your response is as well. Sure. You guys are expecting way too much out of these TV hosts. They're just people with a platform. Why can't the interview... Uh, why can't they just interview these people doesn't mean that they support them and mm -hmm. I would say we, what what he started out saying is you guys expect way too much I would say I believe the standards become so low that we are all accepting this yeah and, yeah yeah I mean there was no and, there was and no so no I, I would love to hear what you think though there was no journalistic integrity in what Tucker said. I mean, he was laughing and having a good old time and he made him look and sound like a hero. Here's the thing, right? The matrix, everything's the matrix. The matrix is coming against them. The matrix, you know, Alex Jones, he did the, um, he did a video right after with Russell where he says the matrix is coming after Russell brand. It's like, I'm starting to think that's the code for we're messing with you. You know, we're, we're messing with you. I don't know. Maybe. And so do you think you hold Tucker to a higher, like more news standard? Because you wouldn't mind if some other huge channel had had him on, right? Who's I, I would mind any time um, a channel. A like I channel. had a problem. Yeah. I had a problem when, when Candace was making him look good too, because it's like, these so are to your, you, it's how they did it. Well, yeah, no, it's not about not. I mean, listen, I wouldn't have a problem with you interviewing anybody got it especially if you're trying to lead them to a life of repentance and hope and especially if they are repentant and hopeful because because if say say if tate came on his show and expressed remorse look i i, I made a mistake you know it's like i probably shouldn't have had a webcam business where you know i was i paying. quit it yeah three I years mean, ago you know, like, whatever like, it was like i really yeah. i really i you know he says he, he reads the quran he says that he's a muslim i'm like my neighbor is a devout muslim mm -hmm. he he's smoking cigars and drinking and doing he's he's not a, a man of any faith as far as i'm concerned but that's going to be the new hot oh that's another thing by the way i think that's he did it to the, protect uh, himself um but i could be wrong well, no, no, I, I agree with you, but that's also going to be the push. You're going to see, like, in my opinion, you're going to see 100% agree a push towards um, Islam, Islam and a I push agree. towards and a push towards Judaism kind of combined together. Mm -hmm. And you're going to because that's the that's what's happening. Right. And and I got to tell you something. Once again, if anything is happening, who ultimately is in charge of it? Right. Right. There's, right. 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 There's a reason God's doing it. I don't know why. I don't know why. But for whatever reason, maybe right now, you know, the people have gotten so corrupt that a heavier hand is needed. I'm not saying that it's right to be, you know, governing <laughs> in a dictator. Like, you know, Trump was just saying how G's brilliant. He, he locked out like billion people. He's brilliant. You know, I'm not going to say that that's a good thing. But I'm also understanding that nothing happens. I, the Lord, create good. I create chaos and evil. The Lord does this. This is right. in the scriptures. You Absolutely. Know, he, That's the only thing we should be fearing. <laughs> right. And if you do, and it is and it is a fearful thing to be in the hand of the Lord. And I mean, I know I just get by. You know, I have debt. Um, I, YouTube's been very difficult. Um, 100% same. I'm a, I'm a person that has a problem asking for help. You know, right. because I feel like, I feel like, you know, I, which I'm I glad you said that anyone that's here or visits, please go follow Jacob. Um, oh, Jacob Israel. Yes. Yes. Jacob Israel. Um, on, and that's it, right? There's no number or anything. No, like just, that? I, just on YouTube. If you go okay. to YouTube and you type in Jacob Israel, please do subscribe, share. Um, and then everything else you'll, you'll learn from. I, I really would appreciate it. I'd like to get to know people. Yeah. I'm, I'm def definitely different. You know, um, but I give all the elements of everything else people are watching. Just do it in a, I do it in a more of a, I believe I call it like a poetic way. I love poetry. So I try to do things with like music and I try to do things. I try to just bring people into, uh, to a song, yeah. which is, you know, and, and I have a t-shirt called, I am a witness 1111. Mm -hmm. I tell people what a witness is. A witness is something, um, or someone that sees like an accident. I witnessed mm -hmm. an accident. Sure. So now I'm going to tell people what I witnessed. So like when I hear, you know, the news coming out, I'm like, I'm starting to see this. 
So I'm like, this is what I'm witnessing. Right. I don't know if it's going to happen that way. I don't know where it's going to go, but, um, you know, I definitely, I definitely am blown away by how, yeah. you know, just on the money things have been lately. It's been very, very rewarding. It's incredible. Um, that's why I call you a spiritual wildcatter. <laughs> <laughs> speculator is that's that's what I say. I'm a speculator. Yeah. You know, and a speculator is just somebody who forecasts. Like if right. this was a uh, a sports show, I would say, you know, Joey had a, gonna uh, win. Yeah, yeah, he had an accident with his, you know, and and this guy over here is going through trouble with his wife. And you look at everything mm -hmm. and you speculate, you know. Yeah. So and that's what Jesus told us to do. He says you could look at the weather. Yeah. And you could say it's going to be sunny tomorrow or it's going to be crappy weather tomorrow, but you don't see the signs of the times. I mean, my goodness, the signs are everywhere. Yeah. And, and it's leading. Well, that's because God back. is everywhere. People right. forget it. And not only is he omnipresent, he's omnipotent. Right. Like, please don't forget that every single atom. <laughs> That's mind blowing to me. So somebody said something on here. I'd love for your comment on um, the heart of a man has gone cold. That happened overnight in a significant way. Since then, I'm noticing people not only don't want truth, but respond to truths in a very resentful way. Or in yeah, a resentful I mean, way. I added the very sorry. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, Jesus there I said am it. lying. He said, um, he said very clearly, he said, you know, I send you out as sheep among wolves. He said, they're going to hate you um, for my namesake. Now, that a lot of people don't even know what my namesake means. I could wear a shirt that says Jesus. People can hate me. That's what they think it means. It's not what it means. The word name means the nature of. The nature of. It covers the I universal. Share that all the time. Right. So, so my namesake. So they'll hate you for my nature which is love, which is meekness, which is patience, which is long suffering. They're going to hate that because they don't have that. Yeah. They don't have that. Now I'm going to tell you something else because there is power in trying your best to live a good life. Mm -hmm. you put the best foot forward. And you really, when you make a mistake, you apologize and you make it right. You do unto others as you want done unto yourself. There's, there's power in that when you're not out to, you know, screw people over or manipulate, when you're not stealing, I sleep okay at night. You know, I get a lot of, I, I've gotten like threats. People have like legitimately said horrible, scary things Same. to me. And I always say. They don't scare me at all. I say to them, well, I do tell them, I say, you know, it wouldn't be a good thing for you. <laughs> Not because, That's so true. Not because, God's no, not, not going to allow that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and, well, God, what God allow, God, you, God you allow. You reap what you but, sow, you know, baby. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. And it's like, and I can't live in fear. And I used to be scared all the time. I'm still fearful over little things. I'm still fearful like tomorrow they're going to go like this. And my channel is filled with such love. But if you listen to it, it's filled with a lot of like heavy truth. And it wakes people up to a lot of lies. And, um, but ultimately, isn't that what God wants? Yes. Yes. You know, yes. so, I mean, it's all working together for the good. That's what I believe. Yes. That is awesome. And I think that, I think your take on um, the technocracy, did I say that right? Techno technocracy. Yeah. Technocracy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, well, I mean, look, everything's going, everything's going to be 100%. They want smart cities. They want people. And, and all it takes is, Taxes get too much. Things get too expensive. You can't keep your house anymore. Don't worry. We just built this 15 minute city. Just and it's free. There. It's free. Until you all get there and then it won't be free. Anymore. That sounds a lot like a ghetto. That sounds like one of the ghettos. Yeah. But when you have like parliament celebrating people that put people in ghettos. Was that not bizarre? Not bizarre. Like... God reveals it. If they be corrupt, the corruption is coming. It's bubbling. God is showing the world just how evil these people are. And, and it's disgusting to me that they haven't been held accountable, mm -hmm. but they're going to be. I think yeah. they're going to be. I think yeah. they're going to be. I would love your take on turn the other cheek because what you were saying earlier about um, we're done turning the other cheek. And I agree with you, but I, I want to hear what your real take is on how Christ intended that in your mind, in your own testimony. Turning the other cheek for me has always been like, I'm not going to try to harm you. 
Right. I want, you know, and um, I'm just going to let God handle it. I'm going to yeah. let God handle it. If you're going to smack me in the face, it, like literally on my property, I'm going to defend myself. Okay. Right. A hundred percent. If, but if you're going to like s s say something terrible about me or whatever, I'm not going to, you yeah. know, I've had so many people do so wrong steal from me, you know, um, horrible things. What do you do? You, I leave it up to God and they end up in trouble. They end up in trouble. I, I, had, I, I had like eight years ago, I had someone really try to block me in business, like really try. I mean, they had the power. Right. And they were in front of the stairs and right like two steps up was something that was supposed to happen. Right. God just opened an elevator. Someone else just swooped in and there was you like, go. here, there's the back door. Like, come on. And I didn't even have to go through the stairs. I mean, I had like two, two children and I was sick just out of the hospital, yeah. in a small little apartment, you know, raising these two. I didn't know I could, you know, I just got out of ICU. Who knows? A two-year-old and a four-year-old in tow. But here I am now, you know, and it's like, um, you know, so he, perfect. He, God is good. You yep. know, uh, it would be nice if we knew everything. the end from the beginning, but he does. So that's, that, that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being a speculator and thank you for being also entertaining as you oh, do so. It. And, and it allows for a lot of hope and a lot of smiles, which I think is really, really important. And then too, I mean, I just appreciate um, your ability to see through things so quickly. Um, you important. do that too, though. You do that too. I've I've gotten I've gotten really good at it in the last You're very savvy the last three years I was so naive for so many years mm. um, I just trusted everybody and believed that they only had the best in them and right. I was I was lying to myself in some way and and that's the piece I think that as we release that victim. And we just trust God. I'm not going to mm. be a victim here. I'm going to let it go. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it completely disappears. I feel like, you know, um, I guess we can end on this. This is really a positive thing. Good. Let's do it. Do you have like, do you have like Roku or anything? You have Roku, you know what Roku is like a streaming service or whatever. So oh, I, yeah, no, I don't, I don't have that. Okay. So I have Roku and, um, they have like, you know, the screen that kind of keeps moving if your TV's on. So it doesn't uh -huh. freeze the frame. Sure. And, I noticed a couple of days ago because I had been praying. I said, Lord, I feel like, you know, when Israel left Egypt, they took the wealth of the Egyptians with them. God blessed them. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I feel like that's the moment that's coming for us oh, now. Nice. Like we've been like, we've been slaved. I feel like the Jubilee's on its way. And on the Roku, there was like a carnival ship with the that's sign awesome. Jubilee. And I said, oh, I think it's on its way. I love when it happens that instantaneously. I can't yeah, like say the story, it, but I literally was talking to my daughter about some major decision in my life. And I started reading the Bible in the first verse. It had the exact words wow. that were just like, I, I bet they're only in the Bible twice. And right. so it was like, okay, God, I like that one. That was fun. It happened immediately. Well, That's thank you. So thank cool. you. Thank you for being thank here. You. Thank you for sharing how you discern. Thank you for um, lifting people up. And I do think that 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 comes back to the the final thing is to not be afraid mm -hmm. to look at what people's intentions are. Are they to attack and to critique and to, or mm -hmm. are they to exalt and pick people up and be more single minded in Christ? So, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks everyone for being here. And please follow Jacob. He's also on Twitter. It's Jacob Israel seventy one. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else? That's it. Well, my website too, JacobIsrael.com, and my novel which is, uh, it's available. You can get it anywhere. It's called the calling. Um, All but right. just, you know, YouTube would be great. And Twitter would be great because, uh, then I get to interact with y'all. Okay. And so thank you Bob, for having right me now go straight to it guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye Jacob. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye. Thank you. September 10th, Mars hangs closer to the Earth than it has in 6,000 years. Like the light that led men from the East to a child in a manger, it could well be a sign of 
good things to come. Thomas James shall be his name. The world will change because of him. In the small town of Bethel, in a time not unlike our own, a child with a great purpose is born. Years later, alienated by his peers and abused, Thomas suffers a devastating loss. When it appears he has nothing left to live for in the world, this is when his true calling begins. While trying to escape the sinister powers that be, a terrifying vision haunts him. Miraculous events seem to follow the peculiar young man as he struggles to come to terms with what he was born to do. The stage is set. The time is at hand. The truth will rise and a revolution will begin. The startling revelation of who Thomas James is, truly, will change the lives of those around him and set off a chain of events long ago foretold. There is more to this novel than one might think. Inside these pages hides a treasure just waiting to be discovered. So if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or why it is we suffer, then this story will not only captivate you, it may just open your eyes to a truth that could set you free. Find out what is in us all that makes us heed the calling.